I did not have sexual relations with that woman, Miss Lewinsky. How could it have taken place when I've never taken performance enhancing drugs? Look, how could that have happened? And I want a little gay boy who might watch this to see that I fall back. Because people have got to know whether or not their president is a crook. Well, I'm not a crook. No, I don't talk about my past because I used to work in intelligence. I work in intelligence. If anyone comes up and makes a physical assault at me, that I will kill them dead at their expo. Non-negotiable. Having had a lot of partners that make your life fulfilling, having threesomes and things like that, it, it can be fine for a little while. I've had more than a few of those. Uh, Honestly, my mother wanted me to be a medical doctor. I have been 5% body fat before. I used to do snatch and grabs and interrogate people out in the field as a contractor years ago. Because I'm not an ignorant redneck from Texas, I am extremely well read. <laughs> fucking shit! I can't stop laughing! I think I'm gonna have a heart attack! <laughs> He's a pie hole! There have always been storytellers and dream weavers. From ancient times to today, the best place by the fire is kept for the storyteller. But in this modern technological world, it is almost impossible to be a Walter Mitty character. It is too easy to be labeled a liar. Cameras watching your every move. Social media keeping track of everything you say. It is almost impossible to frolic in the <laughs> land of make-believe, while taking along the uninitiated, and not have someone call you a barefaced liar. Yes. Liars are common. Liars on the internet even more common. People lying on their dating profile. Photoshopping their pictures. And fake martial artists. He's gonna watch. He's gonna show you. Oh boy. <laughs> How's he alive? <laughs> the average person lies around 1.65 times per day. A pathological liar almost every sentence. Let us see into the world of a modern-day Baron Munchausen, a man named Jason Blaha. Jason is a well-known name in the online fitness community, despite being extremely unpopular. One of the many reasons he is so disliked, is because he simply cannot stop lying. Even when he gets caught out, he won't come clean. He will simply double down, and lie more and more. Whether the lie is something trivial like having 5% body fat, or something more serious like killing another man. There is no end to the lies Jason will tell. But why? Why would a man constantly lie to everyone he meets? Is Jason an aforementioned dream weaver, teller of tall tales, or is he simply a liar? Well, let us find out as we travel into the world of Jason Blaha, and peer behind the curtain and unravel the mundane from the miracles, and the half-truths from the false valor. I really don't give a fuck. Jason is a ridiculously hard character to explain to people not accustomed to the complexity that is Jason Blaha. He is a gun-loving fitness YouTuber, who rose to prominence by attacking the supplement industry, and attempting to expose fitness icons who were pretending to have natural physiques, when in fact they were on steroids, at least according to Jason. He was seen as a breath of fresh air, uncovering the liars and scammers of the fitness community. Not afraid to tell the truth. Or so it seemed. Jason Dwayne Blaha was born the 15th of December, 1976. He grew up in a small farm in Houston, Texas. Although he did live in the UK for a while. But moved back to America after being sued for slander. Despite having no qualifications or real credentials in fitness or sport, Jason's YouTube channel has grown to an impressive 110,000 subscribers. He uploads multiple videos daily, usually either workout videos, or videos where he just sits reloading his ammunition, while giving lifting advice or talking about the latest drama amongst the online fitness community. Uh, what's he talking about? What's he talking about no games? I'm bigger than him. His videos usually get between 1 and 4,000 views. 
That may not seem like an awful lot. But the fact that he uploads so many videos means he's getting more views. And this is how Jason earns a living. YouTube money. <laughs> However, for a channel to have so many subscribers, a couple of thousand views doesn't seem like a lot. Suggesting that many of these subs are fake. And he has been accused of buying subs in the past. Despite claiming to train people and be a fitness guru himself, Jason's physique has steadily gotten worse and worse over time. He has seemingly gained more and more weight, almost all of it being fat. Yes he was popular to start off with, but then people started to catch on to his lies. Not everybody realized at first, but when fans started to talk between themselves, that's when Jason's fantastic stories were discovered. These days sadly Jason is known more for his apparent lies, rather than his fitness advice. Now anytime Jason tells his viewers a story about himself and his past, they aren't sure whether it's true, or a total fabrication. Jason has been accused of telling countless lies over the years. Some of the main ones include, he used to be a male model. He is a martial arts expert with two black belts. He isn't bald, he just shaves his head. He was a former street racer. He is a championship target shooter, having been trained since he was six years old by his Green Beret father. Has the same amount of muscle as wrestling star Iback. Won an eating contest in high school, by eating 13 large dominoes in under two hours. Is an expert musician. Has an IQ of 147. I have had a lot of free sums. Had 20 in charms in his prime. Claims he is about the same size as former Mr. Olympia, Jay Cutler. Credits himself for coming up with the 5x5 five five workout plan, despite that being made popular by Arnold Schwarzenegger's idol Reg Park, back in the 60s. But one of Jason's strangest stories was how he was an alien reptilian overlord. This first started when Jason would make thousands of posts on the website davidike.com, under a different pseudonym. In the posts Jason would claim to have alien DNA, to be from another world, and that he could control minds. When people realized this was Jason, they began questioning him and his strange beliefs. He then responded in a video claiming that he was in fact a paid science fiction writer and that's all it was. But not many of his viewers believed him, and instead thought it was Jason just being his strange self. But just turned up to 11. And I discussed with them an idea of going online for them under a pseudonym and writing fictional material to help them with their book sales. And it grew for a while and I did that for a while and I was a paid fiction writer on the internet. I actually covered myself. It's not my fault that the book company wasn't able to secure their stuff enough for people to not find out who I was over time. I don't know how it got leaked or how any of that happened, but I'm just having to clean up the mess a little bit. And Jason claims to not know how this all got leaked but on davidike.com where he told these stories. He uploaded his own photo, his name, and links to his own website. Jason also likes to tell stories about how he gets into fights, and is a real tough guy. I do come across as the tough guy, the alpha male. I do come across as the tough guy, the alpha male. I do come across as the tough guy, the alpha male. And who knows they could be true. But when Jason tells these stories, they don't make much sense, sounding more like things he has seen in movies. I've had to fight more than one guy at a time out on the street before growing up. I've had multiple dudes kicking the shit out of me and having to get up and fight my way out of it. Um, because of where I lived for a little while growing up, um, I've, I've had to fight. I've had to fight. I've had to fight. I mean, you're talking about a cage match, no rules. I would assume there's no gloves, and if I, if I need to just bite your nose and kick you in the nuts until you tap out, why wouldn't I? People don't really follow through with these things they say they're going to do. And I've heard people in the comments right now, I'll mess you up. No, you won't. No, you won't. Uh, I was forced in a situation in a biker bar or I had to get in a fight. It happened. It does happen. I prefer to avoid those things. Um, but it, it was a, a situation to where a friend of mine asked me to look after his wife. 
with a group of friends going out and we were out at a biker bar who I knew the owner, he was a family friend and you know, everything should have been cool but there was a situation to where a guy put her in a headlock and I had to intervene and then he wanted, once I pulled him out of the situation, he wanted to fight me and he came at me and it got ugly. Uh, he did tap out. Ooh, you're hard, showing off. Maybe Jason has gotten into fights in the past. After all, he did upload a video once where he hit a black guy. But him beating up multiple dudes, and making guys quit, sounds rather far-fetched. But perhaps Jason himself believes these stories. Perhaps he has told himself these kind of tall tales for so long, that even Jason isn't sure what is reality, and what is fantasy anymore. Give him a lie detector, and I suspect he would pass. In that sense he reminds me of another YouTube oddity, in Charlie Zelenoff. Zelenoff infamous for performing these mental gymnastics to prove to himself that he is a real tough guy. And this appears to be what Jason is doing. Wanting to create his own reality, different from everyone else's. Because surely if he was a genuine tough guy, he wouldn't need to constantly remind everyone. In what is perhaps Jason's most infamous lie, Jason told his viewers that he is an ex-military man, a special ops agent, hired by the government. He claims he was recruited by the Clinton administration, during high school, due to his target shooting skills, and was deployed to fight drug cartels in Mexico and Central America. According to Jason he was also deployed in the Middle East where he performed snatch and grabs and used advanced interrogation techniques on terrorists. So I used to do snatch and grabs and interrogate people out in the field as a contractor years ago. We're not even going to give you a clean death. We are the type of people that would be like, hey, fuck you. I'm going to shoot him in the gut at 300 yards and let him bleed out for a little while. And then when he's too weak to fight back, me and my friend are going to go pick him up and have a little fun with him and make him fucking talk before we feed him to the pigs. He even killed an armed man and sniped a terrorist off a donkey. According to Jason of course. But he began getting called out by people for these stories. Including some military men. And Jason's response was strange. For veterans who are standing there still screaming about your valor, stolen valor after what I just told you. That that sounds like I'm stealing any of your valor. You know what? Fuck you, kid. You go fuck yourself. I don't really care what you think. But I will tell you this. If you decide that you're going to come confront me physically about it, you better not be a fucking pog. Yes. Jason began threatening people who didn't believe him. And his subs started to decline quickly. Panicking at the sudden departure of most of his subscribers, Jason had to act quickly. And this is what he came up with. Jason got one of his friends to pretend to be an ex-military man, and to pretend that he had served alongside Jason in battle. I was on a popular military, and a Stolen Valor article kind of drew my attention to this guy named Jason Blaha. Uh, after watching one of his YouTube videos where he's holding an AR-10 with a big shitty grin on his face, I realized exactly who it was, because he was always so fond of the 308, that don't boy him anyway. I hadn't seen that guy in 16 years or so, but I remember him, we used to work together. It took almost no time at all for people to expose this mystery man as a friend of Jason's. And when people made videos exposing this fact, Jason would try and get those videos taken down. He is after all known for his false flagging of other channels. Again. Reminding me of another YouTube oddity in Mundane Matt. Matt being one of the most infamous false flaggers on the internet. And Jason seems to have been made in the same mold. Trying to get videos and channels removed if anyone dared criticize him. He had always flagged people who didn't recognize his greatness. But now he was in full-blown panic mode. Desperately trying to remove any evidence that he didn't serve in the military. He would also try and delete comments calling him out for his lie. He had always tried to delete most of the negative comments about him, but again he was in panic mode trying to stop it getting out, that he lied about being a soldier. But Jason could not remove every video and every comment exposing his lie, 
so eventually he had no choice other than to address the whole situation. But instead of coming clean, he told everyone that he was just trolling them from the beginning, that it was all just a big joke. But of course, no one believed him. He had been caught in a pretty big lie, and rather than owning up to it, he simply lied some more. This is what Jason will usually do. He will lie and lie, and when that lie is exposed, he will lie more. Not surprisingly, his video explaining it was all just a joke, didn't stop the rapid loss of subscribers. And his popularity which was on the decline anyway, was ruined forever. Jason's stories of him beating guys up and being a super army soldier, super army soldiers, <laughs> comes across more as fantasy rather than the truth. You could make a case that all these stories are simply Jason wanting to impress, craving people's approval, wanting to be liked and respected, even feared. He wants to be seen as a big, strong, fearless hero. But again, if he was actually all of those things, then he wouldn't need to constantly remind people. And for anyone who openly calls him out for his stories, Jason will immediately go on the offensive. Bigger than you guys think. I'm a hell of a lot bigger than uh, Jerry Ward and Jeff Side and some of these guys you are talking about. Jeff Side uh, made a threat on social media that he was going to knock me out, and he never replied again. He never mentioned my name again after I replied back and told him that if he wanted to go ahead and hit me, uh, that I would climb up him and bite his nose off, spit it back in his pretty boy face, and ruin his modeling career forever. I tell you what, Rich, why don't you come and try to slap me like that? Did you come over and you try to slap me like you did Jason Genova? I can promise you, I'm going to ventilate so much oil from the holes in your fake ass that it's going to look like the Exxon Valdez all over again. YouTubers not getting along is nothing new. There is always some sort of drama happening. And a lot of that drama is Jason disliking other YouTubers. Sometimes verging on hate sometimes even obsession. Jeff Cavalier of Athlinex has one of, if not the biggest fitness channel on the internet with an impressive 10.6 million subs. He is immensely popular because of his extensive knowledge and understanding of how the human body works, and has trained many famous athletes over the years. Anyone who looks at Jeff's physique will realize he knows what he's talking about. However, Jason isn't a fan. Uh, if you happen to follow Athlean X and you're happy with your results, then by all means carry on. But if you're following most of his advice, you're probably not going to be reaching your potential. If you type in Jason Blaha Athlean X on YouTube, there is video after video of Jason criticizing Jeff. Um, watching that video, if I were either a novice or an intermediate lifter who wanted to work on my squat, there was not a single useful piece of information anywhere in the entire video for those people. I've already said before, I brought it up before, I don't think he can deadlift the weight that he's claiming to deadlift. He's one of the people who bought one of Jeff's programs, and he didn't get strong. The program sucked. As far as I can tell, Jeff hasn't responded to Jason. One of Jason's problems with Jeff is his work with a man named Jesse, who happens to be a big fan favorite. But Jason believes that he has made no real progress under the training of Mr. Cavalier. Despite the evidence that Jesse has made fantastic improvements in his physique. It does seem strange on the surface, Jason not being a fan of the way Jesse and Jeff train, and the progress they've made. Especially when you look at how Jason's own physique has progressed over time. He also seems to have problems with most of the advice that Jeff gives to his viewers, whether it be about how to get strong, or what foods to eat. Perhaps Jason is not happy Jeff is so well liked, and the huge number of subs he has. Or perhaps he does genuinely believe Jeff's advice is bad. But if someone is new to fitness, and they came across both Jeff and Jason, then chances are they would listen to Jeff's advice, rather than Jason's. Nick's Strength and Power is another popular fitness channel, dedicated mainly to bodybuilding and strongman news. One of the good things about Nick's channel is the passion he has for anything to do with strength and power. 
hence the name of his channel. But Jason isn't a fan. From what I can gather through Jason's ramblings, is that he doesn't like the fact that Nick covers bodybuilding as much as he does. It's like it's like the only thing you care about. And would prefer him to talk about strong men and powerlifting more. After that it's pretty difficult to see what Jason doesn't like about Nick. It's genuinely difficult to follow what Jason is talking about whenever he discusses him, because he gets himself so worked up. He doesn't get angry Alex Jones style. But he still gets worked up so much that it's genuinely difficult to keep track of what he's saying. The cynical part of me believes Jason does all this rambling so he can get his videos to 10 minutes in length. Because if a video is 10 minutes long, you can include as many adverts as you see fit. Often an advert or two will play before the video even starts. Then it's not uncommon to have 3, 4, or even 5 adverts in just a 10 minute video. Oh my god, there's so many ad breaks! <laughs> Usually after just 1 minute there will be an advert that cuts him off mid-sentence. I've never ever- I'm thinking of a simpler time. A time when you could call someone a weirdo and not worry about your YouTube channel being removed. A time when bullying was okay. That's why we invented Volcal Milk. The taste of a simpler time. Please, Mommy, I want only Sion's milk all over my cereal. Where the heck have you been? You better not have been to that strip club again. Um... No, I was jumped by a bunch of guys. But don't worry, I beat them all up. I even made one guy tap out. Oh, okay, good. Snowflake, you're late again. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't fire you right now. Um... The president sent me on a secret mission to kill some terrorists in the Middle East. I even sniped a guy off a donkey. Oh, well, as long as you're okay. Blaha Sweets. There's a lie in every one. Warning may cause extreme loneliness. You can hear the bitterness and jealousy in Jason when discussing Nick. Jason tried bodybuilding in his younger days and didn't get anywhere with it. And you can hear the bitterness in his voice when he discusses the money that Nick makes from YouTube. Nick earns a living by discussing things he has a huge passion for. Whereas Jason makes a living by being bitter, jealous and criticizing others. Much like with his Athene X hatred, there is video after video on Nick. And in most of these videos, Jason will make constant references to people being gay who like bodybuilding. Gus, men prancing around in their panties in front of an audience of other men covered in oil. What you like? I mean, it's G for P. I, you know, to each their own, I'm not judging, brother. I'm not judging. I mean, we all have, have our kinks. You know, we all have what we enjoy. We all have what we get off to. And I mean, I'm not going to hate. Uh, you know, you're entitled to that. You know, this is a free country, right? Uh, it's a protected right to have whatever sort of fetishes and orientations that you want, a protected right. And it's not just in videos about Nick, where he mentions the gay thing. Where's Mrs. Intensity? Or Mr. if that happens to be your persuasion. Jason can act extremely childish at times with the outlandish stories, and constantly reminding people why he's awesome. But perhaps the most childish I have seen him act is when he discusses Carly Muscle. Carly Muscle is another prominent figure in the online fitness community. According to Jason Carly Muscle called him gay. And being the mature grown up that Jason is, Jason responded by calling Carly gay. You get on camera your shirt off all flex pump oiled up. Who's your audience? It's not women watching you. You don't see hardly any women in the comment. It's all other men. You're flexing and pumping up your body for an audience of men. You're flexing and pumping up your body for an audience of men. You're flexing and pumping up your body for an audience of men. But prancing around in your panties in front of other men? But prancing around in your panties in front of other men? It's schoolboy stuff really. Childish and pathetic. But whereas you can forgive a schoolboy for doing this because the schoolboy will eventually grow up at some point. Jason seemingly has never grown up, 
and doesn't seem to be in a rush to do so. Guys, you're a bunch of fucking f**ks. You're a bunch of little c**k f**ks. I don't want to be a f**k. I, I don't want to be that person. Fuck that. Jason states that being called gay doesn't bother him at all. But it really seems to. It looks like Jason is trying too hard not to show it bothers him. He does this by shrugging a lot and laughing when he speaks. But it all comes across as fake. I've noticed a few times with Jason that he almost looks on the verge of crying any time he brings up how people don't like him. And the person who probably dislikes him the most is Vegan Gains. Now let's talk about the worst in the fitness industry right now, Virgin Gains. This is perhaps the person who gets to Jason the most. Vegan Gains, real name Richard Burgess, again is a well-known fitness channel and Blaha really can't stand him. They both go back and forth with one making a video about the other. But what has been absolutely devastating to his reputation is the stolen valor. And the other responding with their own video. The, the performance was absolutely ludicrous. And this is a person who he really and truly has no business calling other people out for being unfit, being weak, being out of shape, being broken. Richard even challenged Jason to an MMA fight. Like you, you look at someone like Richard who talks about fight, 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 but he can't kill an animal. He's probably never killed anything in his life. Then I grew up hunting, I grew up on a ranch originally for part of my life. I mean, I've owned family ranch, I've killed pigs, I've killed cows, I've killed chickens, I've gone out hunting, I've cut animals' throats. Jason bravely agreed to the fight, but only if he would be paid $100,000. Of course, there wasn't just a spare $100,000 lying around, so the fight didn't happen. So, Richard then challenged Jason to debate him. But again, Jason wanted paying for this so again it didn't happen. But many people accused Jason of being scared. You see, it's very easy to sit in front of the camera alone saying anything you want. But when you have another person there debating you, picking apart things you say and the claims you make, then the dynamic changes dramatically. So, for Jason it was much more convenient to decline all of Richard's offers and carry on talking to the camera about Richard rather than talk to Richard himself. Sometimes when Jason criticizes other channels, I get the feeling he's just saying things for views, creating fake beef for the clicks. But with Richard from Vegan Gains, I get the impression Jason doesn't like him one little bit. Virgin Gains. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, Jason lived in the UK until he was sued for slander, and moved back to America. It all started around 2013 when Jason criticized the research of Dr. Lane Norton. Jason would tell people not to trust the research, because it was all funded by the supplement companies, and then proceeded to accuse Lane, who is also a natural bodybuilder, of being on steroids. According to Lane himself, all he wanted was a sincere public apology from Jason for the things he had been saying. But Jason wasn't willing to give one. So Lane decided he would take Jason to court. During the build-up, Jason told people how he would destroy Lane in court. The court date came but Jason was nowhere to be seen. He didn't show, despite having raised thousands of pounds on various forums for a lawyer. And not long after that, Jason moved back to America. According to Lane himself, Jason also threatened his wife and son. So, he called the police, but Jason said it wasn't him who sent the threatening email, despite it coming from his email account. First, he blamed it on hackers, God damn it! Hate this hacker crap! and then remarkably on his own wife. The whole thing ended up costing Lane a lot of money. Thousands upon thousands. But Lane said it was almost worth it, if it taught Jason that he can't just say whatever he wants and expect to get away with it. However, it doesn't look like Jason has learned anything, because he still says anything he wants, about whoever he wants. Athlinex, Nick's strength and power, Carly Muscle, and Lane Norton, aren't the only people Jason has had drama with. Order 66 Jason Blaha, Jason Blaha's getting Order 66 Blowho, 
Order 66, Jason Blowo. Jason Blaha, you've been Order 66 for, for the 10th time, you ugly physique man, you, you hairy ape man. All right, Order 66, Jason Blaha. Where he's like, he has to stand up like that because he's, he's hiding the girdle. The fake Merc, the fake Merc. It, it, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm not. We have never seen him actually work out hard. Okay, we've never seen a single video. There's not a single picture of him anywhere on the entire internet ever of him ever actually being in shape um, or ever. Jason Blaha is one of them. And, and he and I have had some disagreements. He has some crazy, uh, you, you, Jason, you got some crazy fucking fans. And um, they just came down on me with the fury of the dislikes. And, and it goes on and on. Think of any popular fitness YouTuber and chances a Jason has made at least one video complaining about them. It must be tiring constantly hating people you've never met, and having people dislike you back. Jason seemingly finds it difficult to make friends. But thankfully, he doesn't struggle when it comes to the ladies. I love guns. I love guns almost as much as I love pussy. Pussy's the thing I love most in the world, but I love guns almost as much. 40 people beat on my door looking for various services, including prostitution services. It's like, motherfucker, I don't have time to watch all the videos you people make about me. I really don't, man. I'm too busy making my own videos, shooting guns, eating, having sex. And case in point, even I today, get hit on by more women. Now granted, they're women my age, married women and things. You actually hit on me when I'm out shopping. Jason actually met his first wife on one of those message boards where he would claim to be an alien overlord. And being his ex-wife, you can imagine she doesn't have many complimentary things to say about him these days. In fact, she has nothing positive to say at all. In posts she's claimed that when they were together, he would spend up to 10 hours a day playing World of Warcraft. Hey everybody, it's the Cardio Gamer here, and uh, this is my first time getting a WoW in many years, and I came up with a little idea to go ahead and just document what I'm doing with the YouTube channel. Uh, but as you guys can hear a little bit of a creaking, I am in fact riding an exercise bike. And this is something I just want to do. I'm not going to really say who I am in this channel, but uh, to hold myself accountable for all of my uh, cardio I want to do, I'm going to get back into World of Warcraft and I'm going to use it to ride a bike. right back. Had a nice good pee real quick, and I'm good for the rest of this session, I hope. Indeed, it is for all the people who will be able to share in the uh, celebration, especially in the his ex-wife would also explain how his parents wouldn't trust him in their home alone because he would steal things. Jason claims to suffer from something called Meniere's disease. Which is why he hasn't had a job in so long. Meniere's disease causes sudden vertigo. However, his ex-wife said they went to doctors about it, but they found nothing wrong with him. Yet despite claiming he does suffer from the disease, he can still compete in powerlifting competitions, bodybuilding competitions, be a skilled fighter, shooter, black belt, and everything else he claims to be good at, but can't get a job, and can record four videos a day off and training. And as far as I can tell he has not suffered any sorts of negative effects from the disease while filming. How lucky. Jason started a relationship with a woman with the excellent name of Brittany Moon Cookie. 
Jason did a video where he tested his fertility. However, the steroid use had rendered him infertile. Moon Cookie seemed happy about this, saying she didn't have to get him to get a vasectomy now. But Moon Cookie would eventually end things with Jason in 2019. And despite Jason claiming his steroid days were long behind him, Moon Cookie revealed he was still taking them. There are videos on Jason's own channel where he claims to have had sex up to three times a day, as well as threesomes. And claiming to have an ex-girlfriend who was also into other women. Trust me on this, I'm telling you guys as a 42 year old man who's had more than a dozen threesomes and stuff like that in my life. My ex, uh, I was in a situation where I could have cheated and gotten away with it. No strings attached, free and clear. I chose not to. But there is no one who loves Jason as much as he loves himself. In an argument or a debate, it's like guys, I mean, I know I got a sexy bald head and everything. And I am the only person on YouTube who could wear a Breathe Right nasal strip, sitting in the road drinking coffee and still look sexy. I make this thing look good. The whole threesomes, and his girlfriends being into other girls, sounds like a teenager who is bragging to his mates. He claims to not want to brag about it but spends an awful lot of time telling his viewers about it all. Maybe it's true, maybe it's not. But any time I hear him talk about it, it just screams insecurity. Being insecure doesn't make him a bad person. But spouting such hokum is what people have a problem with. These claims and absurdities people obsess about over me on the internet, like people who literally do it every day, it's fucking insane. I'm crazy, but I'm not crazy enough to understand where they're coming from, and I'm not crazy enough to feed into it and address any of it. It's a difficult task, trying to figure out which of his fans are genuine, and which of them are secret trolls playing along. If you look at the comments Jason gets on his videos, it's difficult to tell if they mean the kind words they say, or if they're just messing with him. Believe it or not though, Jason does have some real fans, and they will often defend him in the comments on his videos. Because even though Jason will delete some comments he doesn't like, some still remain. His like to dislike ratio isn't good either. The only other YouTubers I know who get so many dislikes, are Mundane Matt, and that girl who accidentally uploaded a video of her slapping her dog, Brooke Houts. On a lot of his videos you can't even click like or dislike, as Jason has removed that option. His haters and trolls like to make memes of Jason, or just make what they would consider funny pictures of him. Like most YouTubers Jason sells his own merch. And maybe he sells a lot, and maybe he doesn't. But he is able to make a living off of YouTube, and I think a lot of people out there would rather make YouTube videos than go to a traditional job. I'm sure he would prefer to be liked more than he is. But he has still been more successful on YouTube than millions and millions of people. Jason Blaha is almost a logcower himself. But he comes across as a mix of other strange characters rather than a single oddity. A sort of Frankenstein's monster. With the head of Charlie Zelenoff, the body of mundane Matt, the arrogance of David Brent, Brent mused, and the absurdity of Homer Simpson. While watching Jason I was suddenly reminded of the five stages of grief. Stage 1, denial. Surely this guy isn't real, and is just an invented character. Stage 2, Anger. How can this guy tell people he used to work in the military? Stage 3. Bargaining. Please. I don't want to watch anymore. Surely making a video about him 10 minutes long is enough. 
right? It doesn't need to be over 40 minutes long. Stage 4. Depression. It's making me sad watching video after video. Scrolling through hours upon hours of his content. I can't go on. And finally stage 5. Acceptance. Finally I'm enjoying watching his videos, and laughing away. The thing I noticed about Jason more than anything else, was his eagerness to not only be accepted, but glorified by people who he doesn't even know, and will never ever meet. But Jason will always be around on the internet. It is after all how he makes his living. And despite his apparent lies and the mistakes he has made, he will always have his fans, as well as his haters. Some people want him to change, but he never ever will. The best thing to do is just take it all in, and let yourself slide into the adventure of Blaha Land. Try to enjoy his outlandish stories. It doesn't matter whether he believes them or not, as long as you get to escape in one of his videos for 10 minutes, or more if you include adverts, and just laugh your ass off at a man who claims he isn't bald, and how he is an ex-hitman. Sure, not everyone will be able to just enjoy him for what he is. And that's okay too. For not everyone can get past the lies of Jason Blaha.